President Obama saying that this was so misguided. And the reaction from the White House to all of that was that's really no comment. They really didn't even address it. Um, you know, I, I, I think that there are still discussions happening behind closed doors about what Plan B will look like, but we also know there are huge divisions in this White House on this very topic with Ambassador Bolton on one side and Secretary Mattis on the other. So who go, where do they does, go from it does here, show, it no does, one knows. It does show, I mean, it, who would have guessed that the first one to violate that treaty would be us and not Iran? I mean, we're the first one in violation of this treaty. And I think, as I listened to John Bolton earlier, I couldn't help but think we were in a Back to Future movie when the tag team of Benjamin Netanyahu and John Bolton in 2003 was pushing almost, the exact, same, almost the exact same out. language you just substituted Iran in Iraq. It's almost the exact same language. We've been to this rodeo before. It cost us thousands of lives and trillions of dollars, and it feels like we're going to the same place again. Okay, so, Susan, I want...